Good morning. Hopefully the hens aren't going to be too noisy this time, but I will say good morning. Good morning. Today we are going to be doing... I've got my bit of paper. <laughs> we are going to be moving the chicks up to the house uh, with our other hens to stop them being eaten by the buzzard until they're grown up because when they're bigger the buzzard can't catch them nearly as easily. So we're going to move the younger ones up to the top and that's what we're doing today. So, and yeah, the reason we're doing that is because of the buzzard. It's got half of the chicks. So I'm needing to get all the hens I can out of these, so yeah. I think it's kills. It's just got a lot of them anyway. And got one yesterday, got one a few days before. So we'll be moving the wee chicks up, and my bigger hens will be living in the shed inside. They're I heard the buzzer this morning, it was like. <coughs> furious. You will see me in a time lapse now. Show you. Okay, that's it. Now we need to let them all in. back to me. Hello, it's me again. Okay, now we're going to get a cat box ready to take all the chicks up to the house in and then I'll have to say goodbye. <laughs> I'll just have to say goodbye. Right, so let's find a cat box. So here are the cat boxes and yes this part of the shed is extremely dark so we need to kind of get that really nice inside, put some sawdust down and yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of newspaper in it. I think the light is very dark, so. Yeah, well, that's it. We'll get that cat box out and we'll get it ready. Okay, so this is it. How about the newspaper? Real disgusting. So, let's see if we can do some sort of tran transition here. This is it, ready. Woo! Yeah! Right, now we need to catch all the chicks and stick them in. So, here we go. And here it is, full. Now, I know they're all a bit squashed in there, but it's 
because, well, they're not, they do have a little bit of space, but they are quite squashed. But it's fine, they're only going up to the house and hens do prefer to travel a bit more packed than if they were on their own in one box at a time. They, oops, they don't like to be falling around the place all the time. So this is them in there. See, they are able to move. Just some of them are pushing their way to the door, which makes it look even fuller. There's that guy up there. <laughs> These guys are underneath them. So that's it. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I will see you up at the house. Now. Okay, we're up at the house, and now we have the chicks up here with us. I don't know why I'm not in the middle of the screen. There we go. So we have the chicks up here with us. They are here. There they are. We are going to feed them with all the older birds so that they learn that this is where they get food. So that's what we're going to do. I will plonk you guys somewhere and video. Ones, the ones that are white with the black dots in their neck, they're my ones. Yeah. us we're done and we are done <laughs> so we have now done that hopefully the buzzards won't catch any more of the wee chicks so I won't lose any more hens because it's been good for the wee chicks because they're really easy and yeah but the older ones I'm keeping them in the shed just now they might come out maybe a couple of hours a day or something just so that they get I don't know their grass and vitamins um yeah so but that's it and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will update you next time on the chips.